What's up guys? Welcome back to the 1973 Honda CB504 Cafe Racer build. I've been building this bike for the past few months now and it is almost done. But one thing that is a huge eyesore, well let's just talk about the uh, big black elephant in the room, the seat. You guys hate the seat. So do I. Originally I actually did plan on keeping this original seat and seat cover, but after painting the whole bike and making everything else look good, the seat really stands out. I don't know if it's a new seat cover or if this is the original one, but it's just really saggy and wrinkly and it doesn't seem to fit tightly at all. You guys will be really surprised to see the seat cover I'm going to put on this bike. Yeah, I thought about just buying an eBay seat and slapping it on this bike, but I really like how it hinges and locks into place. And I like, keep, I like the idea of keeping the stock seat on this bike. So let's pull this seat off the bike, get it on the workbench, and rip this old cover off and see what we can do with it. La -da 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 -da. Just me and my ugly baby going to go throw this baby off a cliff. Always smack the baby. So this seat cover is, looks like it's being held on by these little pin things that I guess are welded onto the seat pan. Looks like there's all these little tabs that come out and you bend it around the bottom of the seat cover to hold it in place. Huh, it looks like somebody's definitely replaced this seat cover before because they actually put plastic over the foam, which is good. Glad they did that because that keeps the foam kind of more waterproofed and makes the foam last a lot longer. All right, I just have to go around and bend up all these tabs But I'm getting it slowly but surely. Okay. Pull this thing off. There we go. Oh man, this foam's kind of in rough shape. There's the old seat cover. This definitely is not the original one. This had been replaced once before because it's not in terrible shape. This plastic thing, I don't know how they got it so tight to the foam, but it's actually pretty nice. Looks like it came from uh, Schwann, so I don't, I don't advertise them. They're not sponsoring this video. But yeah, we're starting off from something that's not too bad already. Bam! Here's the new seat cover. And yes, it is dark brown. Got the Honda on, on the back. It's gonna be really nice, but there's only one thing. I don't even know if this is actually gonna fit on my seat because this is technically for a Honda CB550. And then the other reason I wanted to do this or buy that seat cover is because it came with the passenger strap in matching color with nice shiny metal brackets. I think this really looks nice. It gives the bike more of a stock look and I just think it looks cool. This and the cover was only like $30 or something? I don't know. And it looks like it's really well made. The moment of truth, guys. Will this fit on the seat? Oh my gosh. Did it actually might fit. Yeah. It totally fits. So I guess the CB550 and 500 seats are pretty much the exact same because that fits perfectly. Oh, I just realized I, I should probably do something before I install the seat cover and that is to clean all the rust off of these 
little pins because you can actually see those and then paint them black before I install the seat cover. Duh. Now I'm gonna clean that metal with some paint thinner. Might as well wipe off the whole seat pan as well. Should get it looking nice and shiny. Okay, now I'm just gonna take some Duplicolor wheel satin black paint and just spray over all those rusted areas that are now clean. I might as well just paint the whole thing. Just get a coat on it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be painting this plastic if it wasn't already painted, but somebody already painted it, so I might as well get a fresh coat on it. Didn't take long to dry on a hot day like this. Let's get her back in the shop. Now that I have a nice prepped workspace, it's time to get the seat cover back on. Probably like four. Nice. There's only one thing I can think of to fix this saggy wrinkliness. And that is super glue, I'm not sponsored. Well, I think I'm gonna have to undo these back pin things. Let's just try a little bit and see if it holds. Clamp, big old wooden clamp. Seat cover is all done. Almost forgot to install this thing. Probably should do that before getting it on the bike. There's that nut that the passenger loop bolt goes through. Gonna poke a hole through that and then widen it up a bit. I gotta censor this part. All right, passenger loop installed. It is time to put it all back together. This is my favorite part, seeing my vision come together. I think I like it, but I'm not sure about the color. I don't know if it really goes with the paint job completely, but either way, it's definitely better than it was before. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace out. What's up, guys? I'm at the beach. I'm in Navarre Beach in Florida. I hated the new seat cover so much that I went thousands of miles to get away from it. Yeah, I wanted to get that video done before I left on vacation, so I kind of rushed the seat cover install, but it's okay because I didn't really end up liking the color of the cover anyways. You know, sometimes your vision in your head just doesn't equate to the real thing in real life after it's done. This is one of those cases, I just didn't like it. So, 
I bought a whole new seat. And a lot of the seats on Amazon and eBay, I've bought them before. I was trying to stick with a stock seat for this bike, but it just, it's not fitting the bill. So I went ahead and bought a $60 seat from Amazon, which is not like the lowest cheap line ones that you can get for like 30 bucks. This is a step above that. This one is actually like 24 inches versus the average like 20 inch. Four inches makes a big difference. It'll allow me to have a passenger on the bike. You can't have a passenger with a 20 inch seat. It's gonna be almost the stock length, so it won't look weird on my bike. And it's gonna be coming in from Amazon soon. So in the next video, I will put that on the bike. If anyone wants to buy a stock CB500 seat with a badly installed dark brown cover, then check out my eBay store, link in the description. It'll be up there soon. You guys can buy it, it's actually in good shape. But yeah, I'm just gonna kick it back and enjoy the beach for a while. Thank you guys for sticking with me and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Time to go swimming. See you guys later. Peace out.